Hi friends! For art we're gonna make a blue fescue. So the original way I wanted to do this didn't work out. I'm gonna keep working on it and see if maybe later this week we can get it to work. Um, but for today I want to do just a watercolor one. So I have my piece of recycled watercolor paper here. Um, I'm going to use watercolors that I already have, but if you want to do a fun science project, you can make your own watercolors by taking a dry marker and dipping it in a cup of water and just letting it set for a little bit until the water changes colors and then you can use that as your watercolor. It's pretty fun. I just don't have any dry markers. I only have my Sharpies here. So I'm gonna use my regular watercolors. We'll get this down here so you can see. So I have just a little bit, I don't need much. And my water. Kind of add some of that. There we go. Okay. And we're just gonna make these strokes. So blue fescue can sometimes live in the savanna. Um, and the reason for that is because it doesn't need a whole lot of water. If you've been looking at pictures of the savanna while we've been learning about this, it doesn't rain a lot there, so the plants there have to be able to survive without a lot of water. So the blue fescue is one of those plants, and it's just, it's really pretty. It has these long strands of blue grass. I'm gonna add a couple different colors just for some depth. You can just make long, quick strokes like that. Let's see. So when you put all those little strokes over top of each other, you get a plant. Good job guys. Let me know if you try the watercolors on your own, okay? Bye.